Hello, Superman 19837 here. Um, Alright, I'm going to go over this. Um, atheists deny the evidence of creation and lie to themselves. Well, no, we don't lie to ourselves. You lie to yourselves. Um, everything you just showed in this video, all the malice and the hate, uh, crime, drugs, every, every little bit of it. I would like you to do a study on how many atheists there are in prisons. Um, how many atheists are in drug rehabilitation centers? How many atheists are schizophrenic? Um, see, in order for you to provide all that data in that sh in that little clip, and uh, say that the reason for all this is because we're making God angry or pissing him off well maybe the reason that all this is happening is kind of like children rebelling right? if you've got the amount of people believing in one faith and in that faith you have kids that are brought up today the way they are brought up today what do kids do most of the time these days disobey their parents don't like authority don't like the police don't like really anybody telling them what to do so eighty percent of the people brought up in the Christian faith don't like authority brought up this way don't like to be told what to do where do they end up doing drugs yeah or uh, going to jail or dying just from sexual activity can't blame this on the atheists you look at your stats there's a higher Christian population in jails, in rehabilitation centers, and all over the world. Anything that you just described in this video, 80% of them are the people that are supposed to be reading that book of yours. Now you might say, oh well, they may be, they may say they're Christian or they may say they're Catholic, but you know, obviously they don't, they don't believe in it. Well, that can be deterred just, deterred just the other way. If someone believes in something to be true, and believes that they can be scorned, or punished for what they do, and they don't see their father all the time, what most kids do when they don't get to see their parents all the time is act out. Because sometimes the abuse of their parents is what they, what they, what they want, right? It's what they're searching for. You know, people need attention, and religion isn't providing that attention. Now, I don't believe in a God, I don't believe in creation, I don't believe the world is between six to ten thousand years old. And, you know, you said there's, there's no writings of anybody past six thousand years old. Well, actually, there's no writings past thirty-five thousand. They were thirty five hundred years old. That was the Sumerians, alright? An ancient tax that we just barely understand. Alright? That's when people actually learn how to write stuff, right? Well let's do this. You want proof that we existed? That, you know, there was evidence of human human void type people? What about the cavemen? They made markings on caves like well over 6,000 years ago. 
well, well over 6,000 years ago. Um, we have their bones. Um, if you go to my uh, YouTube site, there's a, a video on there about all about transitional fossils. There's a um, there's so much evidence, and for you to say in a video that we have not come from apes, then if you took biology at any point in time, then you would probably have learned biology from a book written by Ken Miller. All right, now Ken Miller is actually on YouTube, and he'll explain to you quite simply how we came from apes and how we can prove we came from apes. All right. We found telomeres in the center of a chromosome, chromosome number two, all right? Which specifically, if you get into the numbers and the sequencing of the chromosome and the gene and the genome's ap attributes, will actually show you that we, yes, we have came from apes. We've come from apes. You can't argue it anymore. You can't say it's not true. It's irrefutable fact. And for you to say it's not true, you'd actually have to provide evidence now to prove them wrong. But you can't. All right. You say you have a book, a, his, a historic book, full of evidence and fact. Now let's go back and look at this. Snakes can't talk. Man is not made from dust. Women is not made from rib. Man cannot part a Red Sea or build an ark that can hold 10,000, 10 million species? Yeah, probably about 10 million species to fit on one ark, which is excluding every insect. Now, as much as you hate insects, they're the reason everything's green. They're the reason we have vegetation. They're a big reason for pretty much everything around us, what keeps us alive. But that doesn't matter to you. It doesn't matter at all. Because whatever this book tells you, you believe to be true. And you believe that all the wrong and unjust things that are happening in this world are caused by atheists or agnostics, which it is not true at all. We are probably the quietest people when it comes to other things. When it comes to proving religion or uh, correcting people that state lies or provide, say they provide an answer without actual proof that the answer is correct, then yeah, we do step up and we try to make people understand that they aren't right about certain things. All right. So, if you want to blame anybody for the crimes, and the drugs, and the addictions, and the sex, and everything like that, go look at your statistics and find out how many of them believe in your faith or in your Christian or your Judeo-Christian belief system, because that's not just Christianity. That's Roman Catholicism, Christianity, Judaism. Oh, and the Quran too? Yeah. That's all based off of one God, Yahweh, from the Old Testament. Which branched off into different sections, of course, after Jesus Christ. And, um, you know, after that, there's a couple versions of the Bible that went out. Uh, King James Version. Recently, in the 1800s, we had some crazy guy by the name of Joseph Smith decide that he's going to make his own religion and call it the Book of Mormon. All right. So before you say that we will be judged, ask yourself one thing. Take all those other religions that are based off the same platform as yours and tell me they're wrong. Or go to the other religions, Buddhism. And you know, everything every other religion and say they're wrong. Because if you can't prove it, then there's a good chance that you're wrong. So look at your stats and read something else besides your Bible, please.